Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get more control over who can access different features of your WooCommerce admin area. This is very useful because WooCommerce has limited options for controlling who can access the admin screens. When you install WooCommerce, you're going to see four different top level menu links, WooCommerce, products, analytics, and marketing, and each of those comes with lots and lots of submenus. The only people who can access these by default are people who are in the administrator or the shop manager roles. In this video, we're going to show you how you can customize those permissions. You could grant access to more roles or you could take them away from some existing roles. Let me show you what I mean. At the moment, we're seeing what the administrator can see. However, I have a extra user set up as a shop manager to show you what the extra role can see. Taking a look at the menu links, you'll see that the shop manager has access to absolutely everything that you do as an administrator. So our first step is going to be to restrict some of what the shop manager can see. I'm going to go back to the administrator account the feature that I'm going to use to control access for my shop manager is called capabilities. Now, this is coming from the Publish Press capabilities plugin. Let me bring up the screenshot from publishpress.com. The pro version of Publish Press capabilities allows you to control access to the admin menus on your site. So on the admin menu screen, you see a list of all the different admin menus in the left sidebar here, and you can block them for certain users. So in this case, I'm going to choose the shop manager role and under WooCommerce, I'm going to block access to all of the analytics and marketing. I don't want my shop manager to be accessing all the variations and making changes to coupons. I just want them to manage the store, to manage the products, that's it. So I'm gonna put the red X for all of those admin menus there, and then I'll click on save changes. Let me go back to my users and I'm gonna test the shop manager account. You'll see that the shop manager now only has access to those two different features, WooCommerce and products. The other two of the top level menu links are hidden for them. What you've just seen is a fairly simple example using one of the default roles in WooCommerce. Let me take you through a slightly more complex example. This time we're going to make an analytics manager, someone who can take care of the marketing and the analytics for us. We're going to create a new role. I'm going to go back to my admin account to do that. And we're going to give this new role some custom permissions. So I'm going to start by going to capabilities and I'm going to choose my shop manager role. The reason I'm going to do this is I'm going to duplicate the shop manager role and it's going to give me a nice baseline of permissions in WooCommerce without needing to check a whole lot of boxes. This is already set up for me. So I'm going to go down to the right side and I'm going to copy the shop manager role. I'm going to call this analytics manager. Okay. I have a new role available here and under capabilities, I'm going to go to admin menus and let's search for analytics manager. Okay. Here's the analytics manager. Let me scroll down and marketing and analytics is what I do want them to have access to. So I'm going to check all of these other boxes here, except for the home link because WooCommerce does require you to have access to the WooCommerce dashboard there. But I'm going to check all of the products boxes and almost all of the WooCommerce boxes here. My analytics manager is going to be denied access to all of those. Save changes. And let me go to users 
and I'm going to move my shop manager to a new role, analytics manager. Let me check that's correct. Yes, there we go, analytics manager. And I'm going to test this account. Okay, products is gone. Almost all of the WooCommerce links are gone. Analytics is available and marketing is available. So you might now say to me, Steve, that's pretty good, but I do see posts, media pages, and some of the other features. I don't want my WooCommerce analytics manager in those. Well, we can fix that with the same admin menus feature. I'm gonna go back to my administrator account. I'll go to capabilities and admin menus. I will choose my analytics manager role and here we go. Uh, I think we said we wanted to block access to posts, media, pages, and comments. Uh, let's block appearance and we'll block these other areas as well. I don't think we had access to them as the analytics manager, but just to be double sure, I'm going to block all those top level menu items, save changes, and I'll go to users. I will test my analytics manager. And there we go. We have an analytics manager who has very, very limited access to this basic dashboard, but they can't add any products. And the analytics manager can also access two of the four major sets of links inside WooCommerce. So this approach is possible with the Publish Press Capabilities plugin with the pro version. And my suggestion is to copy the shop manager role like we just did, and then use the admin menus feature to block access to different features. This is the best approach because every time you do copy the shop manager role, you get access to everything in WooCommerce. So it's a fairly easy place to start. And then you can just go down and check all the boxes inside Publish Press Capabilities and block access to anything you don't want that user to have access to. So taking the same approach, you could easily create a user that initially had access to everything in WooCommerce, and then you could block access to everything except for the orders menu link, or everything except for the coupons menu link, or you could block access to everything apart from products. This approach to managing WooCommerce users is much more flexible than what's available in the WooCommerce core, and really, it's pretty easy to use. You just need to go down and hit red X's next to each menu link that you don't want your users to access. This is possible with the Publish Press Capabilities plugin. Give it a try today. It really is the quickest and easiest way to control who can access what features inside your WooCommerce site.